Hello everyone, welcome to a new vlog. Um, it is Sunday evening and I wasn't going to start a new vlog but I just randomly felt like it because I've been watching Haley Fam's reading vlogs. They're not like reading vlogs, they're more like 24 hour readathons and stuff but I just felt like vlogging about what I'm reading so here I am. Um, I do have one vlog to edit which um, is a really long vlog I feel because I was reading and trying to finish A Court of Silver Flames which I did finish yesterday but it took me a while to read that one just because it was nearly 750, it was 750 pages and um, I was enjoying it a lot and I didn't want it to end so I just wanted to prolong it and I kept procrastinating reading it and um, I'm just really sad that the next book um, is not out yet so I'm gonna have to wait to read it but yeah that's what I read and I picked up a new book today so I started Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro um, and this is kind of like a dystopian contemporary read. I'm not sure if it's dystopian, if it has magic, but it does say it's a darkly skewed version of contemporary England, so I'm not sure. But I did read um, 48 pages so far and I'm on page 49, which is chapter 5. So far, what I do know about this book is that we are following a group of teenagers, I believe, in like this um, place called Hailsham. It's kind of like a school boarding-ish situation and they are studying and there's a lot of emphasis on being creative and we also know that there are donors. Um, so basically these children grow up to donate and I'm just confused as to whether they're donating organs or what are they donating. So we're actually following Kathy who has grown up. She's a 31 year old carer who cares for the donors but uh, she is basically going back and you know giving us uh, an account of her past and just her life at Hailsham and um, yeah there's a lot of discussion about the donor like the donations that they are going to be doing but I'm just confused what it exactly is so yeah it is quite intriguing and i feel like i want to read more later so yeah that's what i'm reading i am also listening to an audiobook but i'm not very sure if i'm gonna continue that um because it's i haven't really gotten into it all that well it is um i forgot the name it is unfixable by tessa bailey um i'll put the title here but it's just like a romance um kind of uh, muddy romance I feel but I haven't really gotten into it as well it is about um, this girl who basically is unfixable because she has her heart broken before or something and she feels like um, that guy was trying to fix her but she is unfixable and hence the name and she goes to Ireland because she won some photo shoot thingy some photography contest and she goes to Ireland and she meets this Irish guy, Shane, and um, he's very rude to her and they both just like band her around and uh, she's living at this inn where, you know, his family is basically the owner of the inn, so he's there, there. 
and strangely I don't even know the girl's name so far um, but I have listened to around one hour of the audiobook I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I like it um, but if I don't I'm gonna stop and pick up something else but yeah that's my current fiction reading nonfiction I'm reading quite a bit so I'm not gonna go into it just because I feel like I don't want to discuss nonfiction right now uh, as it's been very very slow but like I'm still stuck on reading The Shallows by Nicholas Carr on my Kindle my goal is to really oh oh my god the power's out <gasps> Uh, okay, so the power is entirely out and our inverter just went off, so I'm gonna give you an update later, um, but yeah, that's my reading update. Okay, I was in darkness for a while, so the power cut has been gone on for nearly 10 hours or so now, and i'm losing my mind but i'm trying to be calm so i can't take a shower until the power's back and um i like we had our inverter shut down so my dad now turned on the generator and things are kind of okay but i still can't take a shower because i need the geezer i could take a cold shower but that's not very pleasant I'm really annoyed, but um, yeah, I was speaking about um, the nonfiction, so I do want to read that and finish it off. And I'm also reading Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. I gave up on it a while back, but I'm gonna skim through and finish that book soon, just because I didn't really like the book. Um, so I just want to read what I feel is useful and then just check it out. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm feeling very anxious. I'm gonna go and kind of try and do my laundry um, because my bed's messy and then I'll probably just watch something on my MacBook until it dies and then I have my other MacBook so I'll use that until that dies and then I'll use my iPad till that dies and then I'll just play on my Switch or something. But I need to get up early tomorrow for work so I don't really have a lot of time and I'm just hoping that I don't have to sleep without the air conditioner because I'm just gonna lose my mind. Um, enough of rambling though, I'm gonna go um, and just try and stay sane until the power's back, which I hope is back today. <laughs> this sucks. Um, yeah. Hi, so the light's not back yet, as in the power's not back yet, but I decided to just relax for a bit and um, I do have some light because of the generator, so I'm going to be sitting and planning for the week. I will take down this planner and plan for the coming week. I do have a lot to do, but let's see what will I plan. I don't think I'll remember everything. I also want to update my planner, so I'll do all of that. And I'm just gonna try and have a good night nonetheless. Um, and I really hope that the power is back by 8 p.m. It's quarter to 8 p.m. now, so fingers crossed. And I might go and have a cold shower if the light's not back. Yeah. I'm just blabbering for the entirety of this beginning of the vlog, so I don't know how much I will add in the vlog, but I'm hoping to do all of that and then get in bed and read for a while or else watch my k-dramas i've been watching what's wrong with secretary kim and i am now on episode 14 so i only have three more episodes to go before i finish the drama i loved the drama so so much it was really cute and adorable and wholesome and i can't wait to see the ending even though i really don't want it to end but i need to end it just because i've been so distracted and not reading as much so yeah
Hey y'all, just a quick update. The power is back. I have my ASMR room in the background and I did finish planning for the week luckily, but I'm gonna go and take a hot shower now and just relax, have my leftover pizza from yesterday that I can finally reheat in the microwave and just chill and read and have a good night. Um, I'm just so happy and grateful for the power. Never <laughs> realized that the simple things in life are just so important and something to be so grateful for. Um, but I'm gonna not vlog anymore today just because I feel like this vlog is just gonna be filled with rambling from today. But I will uh, be vlogging throughout this week and telling you what I feel or think about never let me go so I won't be vlogging like during work week but I'll vlog tomorrow once I'm back from work and yeah that's how it's gonna go probably gonna be super boring though so um yeah watch it to your own risk I guess Hello everyone, it is the next day. It is Monday, um, 8.25 p.m. Um, it's quite late and I did have work today. I got back home at around 7 and I showered and everything and I am in bed. I'm wearing the same pajamas as yesterday because I sleep in the same pajamas because I essentially just sleep. So I wear them for like two to three days. So that might be weird, but that's just me because they're clean um anyway i did read quite a bit of never let me go um during my journey to work and back home and now i am on page 98 so that's chapter 9 and i have read quite a bit so i can talk about it more but i feel my thoughts are kind of the same um i don't want to give any spoilers but this book does have kind of like a mystery element to it it's just really strange because it keeps talking about sorry it keeps talking about these donations that these um children are going to have as they grow up and uh, i mean they've now told uh, like given us more hints about what it is and i was correct with my assumption like it's the most simplest thing that you can think of but it's just very strange because i'm just still confused as to what kind of an institution this is and what kind of children these are because they're always said to be so special and everything and I'm just really confused about that um, but the story so far is very capturing and very intriguing um, so I just want to keep reading and I'm going to do that but I might watch a little bit of my drama because I was watching it in the train and I'm at like a really interesting part in the drama i'm on episode 14 at the very end so i might finish it because i only have a few minutes like not a few minutes i have like 25 minutes left but i want to finish that and then i'm going to read more um and i'm also going to enjoy my peppermint tea that i made because i have just been feeling so tired this is actually my last mug of peppermint tea i need to buy some more but yeah gonna have a relaxing night and i will keep you updated on my progress with the book but so far interesting <laughs> hello it is the next day again after work um i did film a little bit of me reading while i was going to work but nothing much and i'm really sorry that i'm not like vlogging all day but i am really busy till like four o'clock working and then i'm commuting back home and chilling so i can't really vlog but i just wanted to update my thoughts on the book so far um so far i've not like read a lot i 
I'm on page 142 so I'm officially like halfway through the book because it's 282 pages so I now know where this is going and I know why this can be classified as a science fiction I'm still really confused as to how this is possible but it's crazy to me what's happening in the book and what's coming to light and it kind of is also really scary um so it's kind of like a dystopian situation going on and i don't want to give any spoilers so i'm not gonna say more than that but um just that these people we're following are not really normal people so they're not like us and there's something special about them which we find out later and the donations are also brought to light later on and everything and i just i'm confused as to who is behind all of this like who is leading to this all and also the writing in this book is absolutely beautiful i love it so so much it's so atmospheric and so so fluid and smooth and yeah just really really flowing very easily I don't know how to describe it, I'm clearly not a writer, but um, this was a winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature, so that explains. And I really am intrigued now to read Clara and the Sun, but um, yeah, right now I just need to finish this and return it to the library again, so I'm going to be trying and finishing this tomorrow or day after, looking at how busy my day is. Um, and yeah that's my update um besides that i've not really listened to more of my audiobook i don't know if i'm gonna cut new it or not i mean i listened to like 10 minutes of it yesterday but i couldn't really gauge much from it so yeah let's see um but yeah i'm looking like a hot mess i'm gonna go and shower also i got new glasses today so i'm really excited about those um i don't know if i'm opening that right let's see so these are the glasses. They're kind of a little big on me, are they? I, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go take a shower and get in bed and read some more with some chamomile tea and just relax for the night. But I'll be back tomorrow with more updates on the books. This vlog is just me talking about this book and nothing else. So it's just gonna be like a reading vlog about this book. But um, I will try and vlog on the weekend hopefully and... Um, have another vlog that's a little more chill <laughs> anyway this is real life guys so this is just how life looks like for me i am just working all day and i just get a few hours in the night to chill and that's about it and then it's just all over again and just yeah eat work sleep repeat and read a little bit but gonna see you later Hi, it is already Friday and I don't know how time flew by but here I am and I still am not done with my book so I'm doing quite badly when it comes to the reading speed but I'm really enjoying this so it's fine um, the reason I didn't finish it is because I haven't read at all um, all day today I did not read while commuting because I was listening to music and just chilling on my phone because I was just tired it's Friday and then yesterday I only read in the night um, and I did read till page 234. So far I feel like the story is very predictable now. I know where it's gonna go at the end but at the same time there are a few things that I'm not really sure of what's gonna happen but most importantly like I know what's happening but I don't know why it's happening like what the real purpose of all of this is um of the donations um i'm not gonna give spoilers but the donations is something that they do mention at the very beginning of the book so it's very intriguing but also i feel like it's gonna be a sad ending not very sure but that's just what it feels like sorry i'm eating a chocolate sorry i'm eating an icebreaker but yeah I i'm not sure but my agenda right now is to go and take a shower um just get fresh and relax make myself a drink and then um i'm gonna get in bed and watch a little bit of youtube and then i will get started on my book i might even play on my switch for a while so i'm not really sure how much reading i'll get done 
but my aim is to finish this by tomorrow at the most because I only have 50 pages less than 50 pages to read so yeah I can do this I have like precisely 48 pages left to read so that should be really easy and I will wrap the vlog up tomorrow and yeah I do need to charge my camera so I'm gonna do that I also want to edit a vlog tonight I don't know if I will though because I just want to relax but if I do get to I'll edit a bit and um, yeah let's see where the night takes me I'll talk to you later have my nice little drink ready and I'm watching a vlog by I forgot her name <laughs> by little no olivia reads a lot yeah and she's also a teacher so it's really fun to watch her but she doesn't talk about teaching anymore um but we've got a really cozy setup my bed is a kind of a mess but it's good and i'm gonna chill Hi everyone, it's the next day. Um, happy Saturday. I am feeling so good today. I don't know why. I just think I got really good rest at night. I woke up at 9am and I chilled. I was actually online shopping while I had my tea instead of reading, but it's fine. I do plan to read today, but I have a few tasks to finish first. That is um, all my um, chores that I do on the weekend. I'm going to be firstly changing my bed sheet. Um, I want to clean a few clothes from my bed before I do that like inside my bed I have like a closet that I can like pick up and then open up and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna remove a few clothes and then I have a few other things to keep in my um, bed like bags and stuff so I'm gonna do that and I'm also going to be cleaning a little little bit later like not right now I'm gonna change my bed sheet um, I also made myself like a drink this is just diet coke with ice in my fancy glass i love this glass so much i always feel so fancy when i'm drinking from it so yeah thanks to gav for getting me that but uh the link for the glass is below if you want to buy it for yourself it's just so good um but yeah i'm gonna do all of that then i'm gonna go and wash my hair and stuff i have like a background lo-fi music um let me just turn down the brightness um this is just a jazz hop cafe music room i just really like that um but that's what i'm doing and i'm also going to be uh organizing a little bit once i'm done with my hair wash and stuff and then i'm finally gonna read hopefully i have a lot of hefty goals for today but let's see what i do end up doing i do also want to go to dmart and buy a few things i want to buy a mug for my workplace and just stuff like that and then i'm going to go over to gav's place and we're gonna have a chill night uh in so yeah that's the plan for now <laughs> and i'm gonna just get to cleaning and while i clean i'm actually gonna listen to my audiobook on my phone so currently i am listening to unfixable so i'm just gonna read that i did mention it before in my vlog i'm sure um but i will listen to it while i clean and i don't know if i'll finish it today but it's just gonna be mild entertainment oh and i also want to redo my nail paint like i want to paint my nails again so i'm gonna watch some vlogs and do that later on so yeah really excited to just chill today so um gonna get to it and i'll talk to you later so it is the evening, it is quarter to 7 p.m. and I have still not picked up my book, but I did listen to my audiobook. So I did not listen to the audiobook that I was listening to, but rather I picked up a new audiobook because I came across it in the Audible Plus catalog and I was really intrigued. So I listened to and completed The Weirdies by Michael Buckley. 
I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but I listened to it because it was narrated by Kate Winslet and I was just really intrigued by it and it was such a fun read. I would highly recommend it if you um, have Audible and if you're a member because it is only an audiobook. I don't think it's in a paperback or any other format, but it was so much fun to listen to. I had such a good time. Kate Winslet did such a good job with it and basically it's about three triplets, like obviously triplets, uh, are three and they're like really weird they are like children of this zillionaire and they wake up one day and they find that the house is entirely empty and nobody's there and that's how it starts and it's just a really weird and funny story it's so so interesting i loved it so much so would highly recommend that if you um listen to audiobooks um, and I also did finish with my hair wash and stuff. I just removed my nail paint. My nails are not focusing. And I also have been having some peppermint tea. But I'm gonna get ready now and go out actually to meet Gav. So I keep saying actually so much. I probably won't be reading tonight at all, so I'm gonna be finishing Never Let Me Go tomorrow. But I'll update you then um, regarding that. This vlog is gonna be super long. I was kind of considering having a, like a new vlog where I finished that one, but I have decided I'm just gonna end this tomorrow and start a new vlog tomorrow where I can start a few new books. So I am behind on my Goodreads goal by like four books i mean i am behind schedule and this is gonna be my first book that i finished that has never let me go my plan is to also listen to another audiobook which i kind of forgot the name of what i'm gonna listen to but um yeah that and i am listening to my current audiobook but i think that'll take me a while because i'm really not into it so i don't know if i'll continue with it even if I do, it'll take me a while because I'm not into it. And I am also gonna read a graphic novel by Sarah Anderson because I just saw that she has a fourth book she released last year uh, in the graphic novel series of her Adulthood is a Myth series. I don't know what it's called, but I had loved that series so much. So I'm gonna read that and I think I will be able to finish four books or so soon and get on track and hopefully I won't like, you know, keep falling off track um but i will see you tomorrow with my reading update on never let me go the next time i vlog i am gonna be done with never let me go Remember how I said that I was going to vlog next and I will have finished the book? Well, I haven't, but I will be finishing it now. I did go out all day today. I was out with Gab to his place. We watched Friends, not Friends, we watched No Strings Attached on Netflix, which was super fun. And I did re-watch it actually, but I don't remember the last time I watched it. Like I watched it so long ago that I couldn't remember it. So it was really fun to watch that and um yeah we just had a chill sunday afternoon and then we went to this cafe that you saw and i had an iced coffee and a donut and it was really fun and i not fun exactly but it was really peaceful and i got back home just a while ago and i'm gonna go and get a shower and then i'm gonna finally sit and finish the book 
Um, I did edit a little bit of my vlog, so I'll be trying and doing that as well after I finish the book. I only have 40 pages, so it should barely take me like 30 minutes to finish the book. At the most an hour, depending on my speed and how distracted I am, but I will be finishing it. And after I do, I will update you. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you about my day and what I did because, um, yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit more good with vlogging.